Hello friends, welcome to Ritu Stories. So today we are going to learn how to make the posto chicken. It's a Bengali dish which is delicious and extremely easy to cook. It is actually a very juicy chicken dish which you can make as a Sunday elaborate lunch or a weeknight dinner. So let's get started how to make it. For making the posto chicken, we will need 1 kilo chicken, around 3 heap spoons of curd, then some ginger garlic paste, around 2 tablespoons. I have used mustard oil, you can use whatever oil you are comfortable with, around 50 grams of Cuscus or posto, some salt, some black pepper, and I've used some tej pata and some dried chili. Since this is uh, cooking without spices, I have used green chili because we won't be using red chili. I have taken three onions and a coconut milk powder. So this coconut milk powder is optional. If you want your dish to be a little sweet, you can use this, else you can just skip this part. This is the final product after marination. I will keep it aside in the refrigerator for around 30 minutes and then I will start the cooking. So I will cut the onions in the meantime and make a smooth paste. chicken but if you're using the poultry or the hybrid variety you can very well use the normal karhai Now that I have stirred the chicken completely, I will put it in a medium flame and cover the lid for around 5 to 10 minutes to 
for it to fry and in the meanwhile I'll make the posto so now we'll make the posto mixture for that I'll take the one in which I'll be mixing and this is around 50 grams of posto maybe a little bit less so I'll add that I have taken five green chilies so you can take it as per your taste and I'll add some water and I'll let it seep for around 20 minutes after that I'll grind it in a mixer so as you can see that the chicken is kind of cooked so in midway we will be adding the khaskas or the posto paste. So this is the posto paste so I will be adding it. In this stage if you want you can add some pepper which is optional. You can add it if you feel that you have not added enough chilies but it will affect the color of the chicken it will make it a little bit more darker but if we are not adding pepper we will get the exact white colored chicken so now i'll mix it We need to add some salt. You can add some hot water also in this time if you want. Okay. And then once you have mixed it. You can just close the lid. If you are using a karhai, you can just cover it for around 5 minutes. And if you are using a desi chicken, you will probably need to cook it for at least 15 minutes. So now we will make the coconut milk. You can actually make coconut milk at home by grating the coconut and then taking the milk out of it with a strainer or you can use the liquid coconut milks that are available since it's point in time and I am out of that double coconut milk I'll be using this one so for one kilo chicken take around you can say two heapspoons of coconut milk and sorry and you need to mix it with some warm water. So this is my warm water. It actually gives a creamy layer and it also gives a little bit sweetish taste. This is more than enough. And then we'll mix it. And we need to add this once the chicken is almost cooked. Make sure that there are no lumps. My mixture is ready. So now the chicken is almost cooked. We might insert the fork to see that it's getting cooked or not. So now we'll add the coconut milk and we'll put it in simmer for around two minutes and then switch off the gas. And our cooking will be done. At 
this time you can taste whether you want a little bit of more uh, pepper or not but don't add sugar to it because then it will change the color of the chicken so I let you see